We're now walking the northern radioactive track, just a few kilometers north of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. As you can see, we have about 8 microsievert per hour, which is 40 times normal background radiation. Also, there are some famous spots nearby, the garages of Pripyat and the cemetery of Pripyat, but I already did videos about that, so just look on my channel for those if you want to check them out. But, well, some spots are also much more radioactive, as you can see here. And we have about 40 microsievert per hour. And just over there you can see the new safe confinement, the new sarcophagus. But we're gonna look at that and even go into the building site in a later video. Hmm, these plastic bags, were they here last time? I don't think so. Uh, maybe one year ago people cut it uh, tubes. Uh -huh. And put in the back this, um, this insulation. Oh yeah. Um, but I don't know why they left it here. So as you can see, there's work going on everywhere in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Here's a closer look at just the point where we're standing at. That's a new safe confinement, and there you can see the chimney, the replacement chimney apparently. This is the photo I took. But I also took a photo of the place in summer two years ago, which you can see now. A little greener and a little more radiation warning signs, which they also scrapped, apparently. But would you expect animals to live here in this highly radioactive zone? Well, see what I found there. That's footprints of wolves. Of a big, bad wolf. And you can hear the Geiger counter still going off. The usual about 10 microsievert power in the area. And we're just at the nuclear power plant. In 2009, some workers were attacked by a rabbit wolf at the nuclear power plant. Luckily, this hasn't happened recently, but you can see there are quite some big bad wolves living here. I mean, why not? They've got plenty of prey, as we've seen before. The moose. Or in other places, in lots of places, the Zewalski horses. The wild horses of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. You could imagine those wolves hunting those animals. There's plenty of those. There's enough animals for prey and enough predators, like this beautiful snake, a European viper. I've seen lots of animals in the zone. It's far from a dead zone. It's a wild place. <laughs> 